With the outbreak of war, Germany built 1,174 new U-boats and became the most efficient submariners in the world. Now most of their sunken remains are scattered about the ocean floors. Professor Ellis, didn't they find one a few years ago that they couldn't identify? That's correct. Because it had a gyroscopic steering mechanism that turned back on itself. It was rigged to blow itself up. Why? To keep their sub-technology from being ripped off? There are many reasons why people bury their secrets, especially during wartime. Maybe they were hiding more than spy techniques. I saw a thing on Discovery Channel about Hitler fleeing to Argentina in a U-boat. He'd be well over a hundred years old now, so I don't think there's any concern about the Fuhrer pledging your fraternity next semester. Professor Ellis? I'm Charlie Rocklin. We spoke on the phone. Did you bring it? Well, what do you think? I think you found an escape sub. An escape sub? A U-boat designed to flee Germany at the end of the war. Well, the odd thing is, the sub had any aircraft guns pointing up from the deck. The propeller guards were intact, which was quintessential American. But all German on the inside, right? German uniforms, German insignia. Right. It was cloaked, a chameleon, so it could enter local waters. They built seven escape subs for Hitler and his highest officials. Each sub was designated for one of the seven continents to maximize their chance of survival, each loaded with everything they needed to rebuild the Third Reich. From einen kommt die Welle. From the one come the many. You got this off a captain's corpse. It's a Kapitän Kampschlüssel, which identifies the ship. I also saw the ship's bell. Escape subs were U-2001 through U-2007. The one you found heading to North America would be U-2007. German captains usually held the key to any secure portals. If they were stowing that much booty, maybe these symbols are some kind of an SS code? These symbols are Czechoslovakian, not German. If I can hang on to this, I'll do some research. Thanks. I can do my own research. If you're thinking of going back down, I'm warning you, it's a death wish. Yeah, it's booby-trapped. I get it. But there's gotta be a way in. There's always a way in. And when word gets out, every wreck diver and their mother will try to scrape it clean. Wreck divers are the least of your worries. Okay, look. <laughs> when you learn that there are no records of what you found ever existing, please, call me. Well? Germany didn't produce any 2000 series U-boats. And yet you saw it with your own eyes. A German U-boat, with no record of activity, no record of even being manufactured, somehow got this close to American shores. What do you make of that? All World War II military information is public domain. Unless it's covert. Highest priority compartmented and sensitive, like an escape sub, then it doesn't get published. If that's true, then I'm wondering how a professor would have access. And I'm wondering if you're planning another dive. It would be suicide. You mentioned that. You also told me the symbols on the crest were Czech, not German. I can explain, but only if we do this together. Do what together? Let's discuss it over lunch. Uh, I'm in Jersey. Love Jersey. I can be there by noon. There's no time. Get in. Uh, there are two more. I think they went down there. They took the nautical GPS. They can find the site. Doesn't mean they can get inside. Do you still have the Kapitan Kamschlüssel? The crest, the captain's crest. Yeah, but watch out. I think you lost him. Yeah. But we've got more company. Officer, we were being chased? Shut up. Turn around. Open the trunk. Now get inside. What? What? What are you doing? What's the game change? 
Why are these check? What's the deal with these symbols? It's complicated. Those are not your ordinary skinhead thugs back there. They're military trained and they want to kill everyone who knows where that sub is. Now I need to know why. At the end of the 16th century, Prague was the center of occultism. Rudolf II employed hundreds of alchemists and charlatans in the hope of discovering the formula for converting base into gold. And for centuries, they never stopped trying. Because it's a pipe dream. Hitler didn't think so. In 1941, he started pouring every resource into an alchemy lab. He had the most brilliant chemists working around the clock. He thought he could fund the war if he could turn scrap into gold? If he could turn scrap into gold? Think about it. He could fund anything he wanted. He had a lot of secret experiments. Genetic tests to cure everything from cancer to homosexuality. Research on weapon capabilities, mustard gas, incendiary bombs, nuclear. But by the time the Americans hit Normandy, he had to abort. Rumor has it, in a U-boat. These symbols are Czech because the lead chemists in the alchemist lab were from Prague. They used distinctive Czechoslovakian allegorical symbols to communicate when they were hiding something for their eyes only. Since these symbols are on the captain's crest, we can deduce that this message explains how to get what they hid inside the boat. This symbol, in the first position, the windmill with keys as blades, means we have to go back to the source. The source? In Prague? Yes. This is Charlie 81878 again. You can't do this without me. You wouldn't even know where to begin. Oh, really? I did my due diligence on you, Charlie Rocklin. You didn't exist prior to 2004. So you must be on the run and living under an alias. Whatever you did, or whoever you are, I don't care. I'm not looking to get rich, and I won't give up until we have all the answers. Why? Why is this so important to you? Because it will rewrite history. I need two tickets on the next flight to Prague. And I also need a quick game change for Ariel Ellis. You'll find her info at New York University. She's a professor in the history department. I hope you realize what you're getting into. How did you do this? Friends in high places. Next. Prague's houses weren't given identifying numbers until 1770. Before that, homes were known by allegorical symbols. The two sons was the writer's and artist symbol. The white swan and the red lamb signified sorcerers. And this symbol... Alchemists? Alchemists. When we spoke on the phone, I told you that Charlie located the U-boat and brought up the Kapitan Kamschlüssel with Czech symbols. Yes. May I see it? It's an alchemist as a prava. A what? An alchemist message. I told you that my specialty is World War II escape strategies. I've done much research about your father's alchemy lab. Your father believed that alchemist gold was like Gollum? Gollum. Gold. Unbridled power. There are those who have it, and those who try to take it away. And he believed that those who have it must always be protected. By whom? Other alchemists, of course, my dear. That's the meaning of this alchemist as a prava. That's why you're here. This indicates three places that make a whole. The first here is the symbol for alchemists, like the one on my door. So we came to the right place. Yes. This is a Pilsner Urquell logo. Pilsner, like the beer? Our oldest brewery, located in Plezen. Any relation to our age, Urquell? He was the brewmaster years ago. Now his nephew runs the place. There were three lead chemists in the alchemy lab. Joseph's father was one, our age Urquell another. And the third was a woman, Clara Molnar. Maybe the three lead chemists each hit a part of the alchemy formula. In three different places? My father instructed me what to do in case... In, in case what? In case this day came. What do these letters mean? Alchemists not only communicated with symbols, they also use chemistry as a language. I'll contact Mikhail Urkel at the Bury. 
take this to him. He'll know what to do. Joseph's got a point. The idea of alchemy something from nothing, the nature of it begs for an abuse of power. Absolutely. Everyone wants power, but nobody can handle it. Coming from an American, that's rich. Who do you work for, Ariel? I told you, I'm a professor. How do you know so much classified information? Friends in high places. You want to be partners? Time to share. You want me to share? Fine. I can't stand Pivni Seer. That oniony thing Joseph served us, but I tasted it to be polite. I'm allergic to cats, and I can't swim. I'm incredibly hydrophobic, actually. Now it's your turn. That's okay. We all have reasons for burying our secrets, and since both our lives are at stake now, we're just going to have to trust each other. Do you know who killed the people at Gold Digger's Exploration? No. But there's been conjecture for years about a Fourth Reich organizing around the world, training, preparing. They believe that when Hitler's lost sub would appear, it's their time to take over the world. Scary stuff. Two things allow terrorists to thrive. A power-hungry leader, and money. Now, imagine if one of these nutcases united every racist and xenophobe from all over the world, and then acquired unlimited gold. They could build a real army and start World War III. And this time, they could win. Mikhail Kell is expecting us. It's just more random numbers and letters. I think not. Break it up. These are places. Well, he's right. Prinzengracht is where Anne Frank hid during the war. Yes, in Amsterdam. Casa Gaudi is in Barcelona, and Musia Civico Correra is in Venice. They're all museums. All surrounded by water, the most integrated water transports in the world. And they all secure priceless items with premium security. It must be the three places Joseph told us about. He said the allegorical symbols on the captain's crest meant there were three places that made a hole. You think they'll lead us to the formula, don't you? I thought the formula was destroyed. Wir müssen ein Pakt. Wir backschleichen den Code. Und das wird mit uns zu sterben, Frederick. Perhaps they didn't all agree. Maybe one of them hid the formula in the museums without the others knowing? That would be impossible. Those museums were all built after they were killed, long after the war. You're right. Then who left this code for Joseph? And why would he send us here to unscramble it? Joseph knew I would get into Casa Gaudi. It's privately owned, and that owner happens to be my cousin. He knew that. And what about the other two museums? Only one way to find out. Back to the metro station, please. Dope. Shabby yourself. Step on it. You okay? Fine. Thanks. Drink and drive. Good point. 
What are you doing? Hand me that rag, and see if there's a lighter in the glove compartment. Mysterious? Actually, I like to know more about who I'm with than they know about themselves. Me too. Well, I know you don't like Pavini, sir, and you can't swim. Uh, childhood accident? Nearly drowned when I was six. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. No doubt you're a fabulous swimmer. Yeah, I broke all kinds of records in college. Love the water. Even served as a special ops diver. Iraq? Yeah. So, you left, felt betrayed by your government because they had you searching for weapons of mass destruction that never existed? Oh, good guess, but that's not why I left. Look at us. Two misplaced truth seekers with precarious pasts. If I didn't have to disappear, I would have been a partner at Gold Digger's Exploration. And that was the plan after my tour. I had studied to be a nautical archaeologist. Sterling Ray was my favorite teacher and mentor. We were going to become the first publicly traded deep-sea treasure hunting company in the world. You wanted to be a gold digger? I wanted to go where no man has gone before. There are more than three million shipwrecks on the ocean floor thought impossible to get to. You are like me. You wanted to rewrite history. But my best laid plans took a detour. And for Sterling Ray, well, that enterprise became a nightmare. It goes with the territory, I guess. Which begs the question, did you choose a life of isolation, or did that life choose you? <laughs> In my experience, life has many details, and maybe finding the key is taking you back to where you're supposed to be, to what you used to care about. Ciao, ah! Bella! Vai, per favore, go! Bastardo? Molto bella! <laughs> Grazie, boys. Show me to the bar. How much is true so far? I'm trying to find out. It took a lot of courage to do what you did. But we have to step in, and I need to bring back Jonathan Green as well. Who? Charles Gold. Charlie Rocklin. Charlie. Where is he? I'm not sure exactly. What is it you really want from this? The truth. Cooperate and I'll agree to tell you everything we learn. We're much more equipped to do this. You know that. We don't have the entire key yet. But I think we're close. So there is a key. You don't want history to repeat itself, do you? Look, I know everything about what happened to you in the Mossad. You ignored orders, you went off the deep end. The deep end is usually more satisfying than the shallow side, don't you think? I think second chances are rare, and you can't really start over until you let go of the past. We can and will offer you protection. To both of us? If he tries to go back to the U.S., he's a dead man. That's beyond my control. Then we have no deal. He's on the FBI's most wanted. Why? Theft, treason, murder. That was the trip. Fantastic. I took a cruise. You look well rested. You get your part of the crest? Yeah. Did you? Mikhail should be here. He'll be here. How is Amsterdam? Awesome. Not only is prostitution legal, the working girls can moonlight as assassins. Good show. In Venice, two heavyweight Camorras almost made me into a gondola sandwich. Who do you think put the hit on us? <sighs> Remember what Joseph said about power? There are those who have it, and those who try to take it away. Mm. The alchemists had many personal legends, one being that the formula was so simple that it could be written on the surface of a philosopher's stone, an emerald so complex that it contained the elixir of life, the soul of the world. A um, metaphor? The quest for unlimited wealth is older than the hills. The one thing every society has in common. What separates us is how far we will go to get it, and what our intentions are once we do. Isn't that why you teach history? I teach history, so it doesn't repeat itself. He's here. Let's go. 
Has anyone made you? Clean as a whistle. That's good. Looks like three pieces to a puzzle. Let's see if they fit. No. No? Not until we all come clean. It's only fair. What are you talking about? There's no way you could have him. There's no way you could have known. What's going on? What's your connection to Clara Molnar? <sighs> I'm her granddaughter. The third lead chemist? Yes. That's how I knew about the formula. But like Mikhail, I had always believed it was destroyed. After all, it wasn't the Nazis who rigged the escape subs. The Alchemist made sure that the escape subs would blow up at sea and would be impenetrable if ever recovered. Other theorists have speculated that they must have had a way to bypass the security, some kind of key. But since they knew their own fate, We had always believed they agreed to keep their formula buried. Until now. Now it's time to let go. What? We've taken this as far as we can, but the three of us cannot keep it safe. Too many people are after this for the wrong reasons. The CIA will protect it. Is that who you work for? No. I was followed, and I made a deal. Tomorrow morning I'm gonna turn this key over in Placa San Joseph Oriel. By yourself? You're as clean as a whistle. No one made you. You still have a chance to go back to a normal life. No one made me. Good. Then you can go home. And you, Charlie. You can never go home, but you already knew that. If I bring the key, they're going to let you walk. And what about you? I'm going to go back to the States, back to my normal, safe life. We'll all go back to our normal lives. This is the right thing to do. I've been obsessed with my grandmother's story since I was a little girl. The reason I made it the focus of my studies. I wanted to learn everything. So she didn't die in vain. My last assignment in the Mossad was a hit on a Palestinian training center. Suicide bombers, fairly routine. We were ordered to arrest, nothing more. But when we broke in, I saw the man who killed my brother, and I lost control. I killed each and every one. I went off the deep end. Sometimes the deep end is more satisfying than the shallow end. Both my parents died when I was young. I have no family left. This makes me feel connected. And so has being with you, even though I don't know anything about you. And when we invaded Iraq, palaces were looted and museums were broken into. Thousands of antiquities were stolen. I remember hearing about that. My commander had a major scam going. He organized a network of Delta Force soldiers to steal priceless statues, used special op divers to hide them in underwater caves, and Air Force combat control to sell them across the borders of Jordan and Kuwait. I exposed the entire operation. Then you were a hero. No, nobody thinks you're a hero when you turn against your own. You're on the FBI's most wanted for murder and treason. And this exposed me again. It doesn't seem right that you had to give up your life, your dream, everything, to save some statues. It doesn't seem right that this will be our last night together, either. You're holding the key? You've got my papers? A deal's a deal. Then why didn't you keep it? It's all there. You were supposed to come alone. I am alone. Really? Strange how that delivery truck has a 300mm lens pointing out the window, and that guy making animal balloons is packing a Glock. Not very kid-friendly. Hands where I can see them. I don't want to shoot anyone, but I will if I have to. Joseph, what are you doing here? Mikhail told me about the deal you made. I can't let this happen. The key is for alchemists. But the alchemists wanted it destroyed so he wouldn't get into the wrong hands. The CIA can protect it. Not all of the alchemists wanted to destroy the formula. You mean your father? 
what about your golem story? The creature started acting human. Emotions made it abuse its power. That's the point. Are you the Führer und Reich Chancellor? A Führer und Reich Chancellor was to be a powerful government official, a plant really, who secretly organizes Fourth Reich disciples around the world. Alchemy was supposed to be their inheritance. Once the escape sub was found, they would start a war and then rise up from within governments everywhere. We've got to figure out a way to get back to the States and stop this. If my theory is correct and you just killed the Führer und Reich Chancellor, it will take them some time to get a new leader. The Vice Chancellor wasn't their leader. He mentioned Operation Besetki because he was letting me know that my commander in Iraq is their Führer. Your commander? The one who stole the statues? Well, you never heard about anybody getting arrested for looting or any of the antiquities being returned. That's because he got away with everything, including Vasekki, the most valuable statue in Iraq. That's how he financed his political career. It, an impressive run, considering he's already the vice president. The vice president of the United States? Operation Vasekki was also the code name for Saddam's assassination. I think my old commander is going to assassinate the president of the United States. The presidency would suddenly give him access to the world. Not to mention a trigger finger. If he's trying to start a war. Let's get off of the next town and figure out our next move. Every airport, every train station, harbor, bus terminal, auto rental, every way out of here will be swarming until they find us. Another time, another place. Maybe things would have been different for us. Remember what you told me about the Philosopher's Stone? The Emerald? It's the alchemist's belief about the elixir of life, the language of the world, discovering the treasure reserved just for you. Yeah, I get it. It's all about never giving up, whatever you're after. And you can't do it alone. Someone has to be the key. It's just a romantic notion. No, that's what we say when we think we're trapped and have no options. But there's always a way in and there's always a way out. My commander forced me into hiding all these years. I thought I didn't have a choice. But there's always a choice. We can either stop him, or we can die trying. But we're thousands of miles away. You were right. They're going to kill the president. And they're gonna make me pull the trigger, shoot him over those cliffs. Make it look like a fluke assassination, like I'm a crazy terrorist who broke in. They're coming for me. I've got to get these cuffs off. There's no time. Go. You have to stop this. When I tell you, you'll shoot him. I'd prefer to shoot you. As you wish. It's not loaded, but that one is. So you'll do what I say. Do you have any idea how deep that water is? Just look at that drop. Even if you survive the fall, you can't swim. You're petrified of the water. Completely phobic from what I understand. Why are you doing this? Me? I'm just a good soldier obeying orders. Spoken like a true Nazi. Thank you. Now let's do this. Ready? Ready as I'll ever be. It's spectacular here, isn't it? It really is. How'd you find this place? You know, researched it. Matter of fact, some theories speculate that this was Hitler's favorite island. You don't say. As legend has it, he almost escaped to South America after the war. And he would have, if it weren't for some very clever alchemists. Don't tell me. Legend also has it that the Führer's very own escape sub was sunk somewhere close to here. And if we can find him in the pile, we could finally put the old dictator to rest. I should also warn you, there's been speculation for years. His U-boat was also carrying a formula for energy. What? He poured every resource into a lab to produce efficient fuels that could power the world. He had some of the most brilliant chemists working around the clock. Then we'll have to explore I mean, We've come all this way. I think it would be rude not to. Uh, will you excuse me? 
Where are you going? Our next expedition sounds expensive. 